So I like to use JK Rowling's website as an example because there are a few best-selling authors with more difficult to use websites. Um, and these are actually built into her website. When you first go to her website, there's this overlay that gives you instructions about how to use the website, um, which has to be there because the layout and design of the website is unintuitive. And that's a choice that she made. It's okay for her to do that because she's a mega best-selling author. And if people find her site, it's probably not by accident. They probably know who she is. They love Harry Potter. They're looking for the information. And so they're on her site for, for specific reasons. And they're going to spend a little bit of time figuring out how it works so that they can find what they want. In your case, that's unlikely to be true. Um, in your case, people aren't going to spend a lot of time figuring out how your website works or trying to find what they're looking for. And so you need to be aware of that and try to put things in a organized manner that makes sense and is easy to use. The other thing that's really interesting is when you search for, if you search for author websites or how to make an author websites or examples of, of best-selling author websites, what you're going to find are these very picture heavy websites. Um, let me see if I can find, um, for example, I have another video somewhere, but Dan Brown, Dan Brown site. Dan Brown site is kind of just like what people think about when they think of an author website. Um, it's just very well designed. It's all pretty and clean. It looks kind of like that. Um, so actually he just has a landing page up here on top, which says, you know, learn more about this book because that's what his latest book is. There's novels, news, media about, like this is all fine. It all looks amazing. Um, it'd be very difficult to make on your own, but if you try to make something similar, it would also be easy to mess it up and to get something that doesn't look as nice. And so that's the danger when you think about author websites is that most people consider like this to be the perfect author website. And the problem is it doesn't actually have that much content because he doesn't need to put up content that attracts readers. He's famous. People just go to his website because they know who he is. Also, with all these images, it's not going to load as quickly, which doesn't matter because it's pretty and his readers will stick around and they'll wait for it to load. But on your website, Google penalizes you if your site doesn't load quickly. So you'll get less traffic because Google knows how fast your website is and Google will not send you as much traffic and people won't stick around that long. So if people have to wait three seconds for your website to load, they won't stay. They'll leave immediately and then Google knows people don't care enough about your content to stay for three seconds. So they're going to recommend less and less people to you. That's why it's important to have a really fast, minimal website that loads quickly. And that's not what you see. Like when you, if you think about trying to make this kind of a beautiful author website, if this is what you're going for, you're going to end up with something that loads slowly, is not intuitive. Um, and it's great even if you do it perfectly and you make an amazing website. I mean, it is, it looks great. It is important. Like if you can afford it, this is probably a five or $10,000 website. If you can afford it, that's fine because it establishes credibility, but that's not really going to matter if nobody likes your book. So I would never recommend somebody start out with an expensive website like this until they publish some books and are making money. Once you start making money as an author, you know that you can get a nicer website to boost your credibility and sell more books. Um, because if you do have a beautiful website like this, it is easier to get people to take action by signing up to your list um, or buying your books or following you just because they know, wow, this is a really beautiful website. This author must be serious, um, but it can ba backfire. And so it's difficult to pull off while it's expensive and it won't sell the books on its own. If you have books that are selling, a website like this will definitely help. Um, but if you're just trying to get started and build your email list, you don't need something like this. You just need something simple and clean that works. And so that's why I'm skeptical, or at least I'm hesitant of recommending a site like this, because I think it's better to do something really simple instead.
And uh, I'll show you what I mean in the next video about going minimal.